9 o'clock in the morning, 9.30 in the morning. I gotta clean up all these leaves. I'm here in Door County, and it's a daunting task. Wait till you see what I gotta do. I got a lot of leaves to clean up. If you don't do this every year, what you get is dead grass. Nothing will grow next year because it will be all matted with leaves. As you can see, I have a lot to clean up. Here's the lakeside. And it's compounded by the fact that my wonderful children piled them up in the middle. But all I have to do is spread those out later. i got two trees that are going to come down. Both in bed. This one and that one. There you go. I'll probably have to do this one more time after this. Right the time I close the house up. There's a lake level. Not too bad. Looks good. Oh, well, we'll go in the garage. these motors are started they ought to have their oil checked very expensive motor and it doesn't take long to check the oil make sure everything's good you can see here I have a little birdie here well I lost a little rubber thing there's one on that side but I lost the one on this side so now I stick this little birdie in there it does the same thing. It holds the metal cowling off of the edge of the lawnmower so that it doesn't rattle and bang around. Check the oil right here. You unscrew this. It's a dipstick. There's a little line on it. And make sure that the oil is at the proper level. So you take it out. Wipe it off. Make sure you get the oil off. And then, if you can see, those two little holes there, if both of them are covered, it's full. There's also lines on there. It'll show you what exactly the oil level is. You put it in, you take it out. And the oil level is full. Make sure the oil level is not over full because if it's over full you blow all the seals in the motor. And it's worse than it is if it was a little low. Also check the level of the gas. As you can see here, I'm going to need to put some gas in there. Alright, this is the apparatus that I'm going to use to clean the leaves. Basically, this thing, you hook up to where the, uh, the grass and the leaves get ejected out the side of the uh, lawnmower deck. The tube then runs to this motor, which is then mounted on this apparatus with the wheels and it has a big giant bag on it which collects the leaves. The motor grinds up the leaves so they're compressed. Moved all this junk over. Hopefully someday I'll get rid of it. 
This thing's pretty heavy. I got it hanging on the wall. I want to make sure there's air in these tires. I put air in them last week. But every year they need to put air in them because they deflate and then you don't really realize it until you got a load in the thing and they're flat. Uh, I got an air pump in the other room. Electric. So you got to somehow get this thing off the wall. And the best way to do it is to come up to it like this. Lift and then back off. And then just set it down like that. Once it's down, everything's good. Then you just bring it back. This box of stuff here and that metal bar are necessary. I usually have them on top of the thing when uh, it's hanging on the wall. Once you have this thing out here behind the lawnmower, it's got some pins on the back. Remove the cotter pin, and remove the metal pin on both sides. This thing has to be lined up on here. There's two holes on this bracket, so you line it up. You take the big metal pins, once they're lined up, stick them through. Take your cotter pin, put it back through the hole, lock it on, and you do the same thing on the other side. Now this thing is locked on here. So you gotta take this line off and unfold this apparatus so it's standing up. Something like this. Not too bad, right? You can see these metal brackets straighten out, but then you lock them in place with this sliding thing. It slides down and locks the bracket. You do the same thing on the other side. You straighten this bracket out and lock it down. Now it's standing up on its own. That's where this metal bar comes in. As you can see, it's got a U-bolt they tighten down on both sides. This is how you get this bracket in the back on the top. There's two little nipples here that will hook into a hole that's already in the frame. So, you take this bracket, you put one in the hole, goes in the back, you move this little U-shaped connector onto there. You have to adjust it properly. And once it's on there, you tighten it down so it won't come off. And then you do the same thing on the other side. Loosen it first. Put the nipple in the hole. Loosen it enough so it'll slide underneath and then tighten it down. That gives this thing integrity so it won't wobble or collapse. Once you have that done, you have these flaps. Okay, to close this whole thing up, they simply lock in place with these little plastic connectors. Then there's two more flaps on the side. Peel them off. 
and they come across. And the Velcro will hold it. Just remember, the inside is up and down, and then the outside comes across. And then once that's done, you just hook those connectors up, and the thing is sealed up. air comes out the top. So to review, we hooked it up, we locked it out here, we took this metal bracket, we put it across here to hold everything in place. As you can see, the little U-shape, this tightens down. Then we put these straps on. This is where the leaves go inside of here. And they're blown in through this hole here. Now I want to say this, I'm going to say it a couple times, it's very important that you wear eye protection. When this stuff comes flying out of this thing, it's going like a hundred miles an hour, and if it hits you in the eye, you'll be blind. You must wear eye protection.